was talking about John Woolman going around telling Quakers how wrong they were in having anything to do with slavery. And that gradual process of growth in him, I believe, made him an RF, what I would call an RF. Uh, somebody who was in tune with the song, with the song and rhythm of uh, the universe and Parvar de Gaur. He's talking about Thoreau. Uh, I'm almost positive without an Emerson, without the transcendentalists, probably would not have had a Thoreau, whom I think would be another example of an Arif. So all these individuals do not grow up in a uh, in a vacuum some of them get inspired by maybe something that happens in nature in the case of Woolman it's maybe that little uh, experience in his childhood of what he'd done to the little bird in the case of Thoreau all the ideas he was learning sharing with his friends these great poets and writers and getting the essence of what they were saying and actually molding it into something beautiful. So it's it's the people that surround